guys, welcome back to another episode of Woodmill Inc. And in today's episode, I'm going to be showing you what a candle is. So, first off, we need a bit of money to get a candle. I don't actually have any money because I'm trying to not play the game before the, the wipe. I want to start playing after the wipe. But it's good to know what items do and what they are. And I am here to create videos for you guys so you guys can know as well. But we need $50 for this candle that is inside of the Wood We Are shop. And we only have 46, so hopefully this piece of wood will be able... Oh, by the way, they're pentagon shaped now. And I'm not touching any buttons, and this is spinning by itself. So maybe that's a bug, maybe it's not. I'll let the developers decide. And now we have 52. Should we just get a bit more for extra luck so we don't look poor? There we go, now we've got an extra six dollars. We can buy a sandwich with that. So we're gonna come over here and we can see that there is a new feature called a candle. What is a candle? It lights up your area, just don't let it burn out. I wonder what that means. I actually haven't ever used a candle before, I don't know what it is, and we're going to find out together in this video. So we're gonna go to David and we're going to buy the candle for $50. Yes, thank you for your purchase, come again. And we're going to take it over to our base. We're not going to unbox it just in case it falls apart. And our base is in the exact same place as the last episode. If you haven't seen any of my last episodes, I recommend you go check them out. Turn the notifications on and subscribe so then you get to see all my videos whenever I upload them. But we are almost at our base now and we're here. So we're going to open this box and see what it looks like so it's exactly what it's like on the tin wow on the box but oh it's shiny oh okay and toggle candle just don't let it burn out so i'm guessing it goes out over time we'll find out in today's episode but from the looks of it there's no refueling mechanism because why would that be? But if they add a lump of coal into the game, there might be some sort of fueling mechanism for something. But um, we're just going to leave this running over time. I'm going to go chop down a tree and I'm going to come right back and see what's happened. Here's a nice tree to chop down. Let's chop down this one. If you haven't noticed already that there is a new animation for the chopping and I think it's pretty sick. Inside of the woods, drop off you go, go on, go in, there you go, and maybe we could buy two candles. There we go, we have now got 92 and we are going to go and buy ourselves another candle, just because why not. Hey look, this guy's got floating wood. Magical, he's a genie. I wonder if our candle has gone out already. Can we see it from over here? I don't think we can, but we will soon find out if it has gone out or not. No, I don't think it's gone out. I think I still see the flame. Yeah, I still see the flame. It's not gone out. Hmm. Turn off and turn on. So I'm guessing you're just able to turn it off and back on whenever you like. Maybe there is some sort of burnout timer. Maybe the candle wax goes out over time and you need to buy another, another one. Who knows? No, I don't think it does that either. I just tried to watch it and it doesn't do anything. But it just provides light, a decent amount of light for what it is. And we just can't see it because it's daytime. But considering it's daytime and we can still see the light coming off it, it must be very strong. 
But that is it for today's video. If you did like today's video, leave a like, subscribe, and I shall see you guys in the next one.